The rabbit is a fur-coated, warm-blooded animal and is one of the rodents. Its chief food is green plants, which are gnawed with the front teeth. This pair of rodents, a doe and a buck, are eating grain. Rabbits, many centuries ago, were to be found living only in the lands around the western Mediterranean, particularly Spain. Later, they spread further east in Europe and were introduced into the British Isles. From there, they went to Australia and New Zealand. They are also found in some islands off the west coast of North Africa. In England, rabbits flourish in open woodland country, especially on well-drained soils. On sandy banks, they make tunnels called burrows in the ground. Often, several burrows are close together and form a warren. Rabbits are most active at nightfall and early in the morning. They use runways through the tall grass and keep to these well-trodden paths. The rabbits can move very rapidly. The short forelegs fall separately in a kind of skipping movement. The powerful long hind legs fall together in a jumping action. As a further protection against its enemies, the rabbit's coat or pelt has different colours which blend with the surroundings. The rabbit may easily be overlooked against a background of long grass. It needs to use its sensitive nose, prominent eyes and long ears to detect its many enemies, like the polecat which usually hunts the rabbit at night. When an enemy is around, an adult rabbit gives the signal by showing the white underside of its upturned tail as a warning to the younger animals. A buck often gives the signal by stamping on the ground with its hind feet. In diagram, the construction of the burrow can be shown. There are three or more entrances which may be used as bolt holes if an enemy pursues into the burrow, like this stoat after the rabbit. The nurseries are situated where they will be safest, and the circular roots serve to foil the enemy. When a doe is about to give birth to a new family, she sets about making a new burrow. She digs out the soil with the strong nails on her paws and throws it out with her forelegs. She gathers soft shoots, which she will use with fur plucked from her own body to line the nest. In diagram, this new burrow is very simple. The tunnels are about six inches wide, with a nursery at the inner end. The mother will produce the young rabbits, which will be born in the nursery. The reproductive organs of the female rabbit, the doe, are situated on the lower side. Inside her body, the female rabbit has a pair of small ovaries on either side of the body and a pair of tubes, narrow above and broad below. In front of these is the bladder and behind that is the canal leading from the broad tubes to the outside of the body. When the doe is about six months old, she mates with a buck. Then tiny eggs, or ova, are set free from the two ovaries and travel to the upper tubes. Here, they are met by great numbers of small, active male sperms which have been introduced into the doe's body by the buck. Only one sperm will fuse with each egg and fertilize it. The fertilized eggs develop and travel down to the broad tubes where they become attached and continue development. Each little embryo is made up of a ball of cells in which a hollow space appears. Thirty days after mating, the little rabbit about to be born looks like this. The cord, which has attached it to the mother's body, will come away with it at birth. Each one is protected by a sac containing fluid, and these sacs, lying along the broad tubes, travel towards the canal which leads to the outside. When the rabbits are born, they are quite helpless and without hair. They feed on milk from their mother's breasts. 
At this stage, they need to be kept away from the light and well covered with the soft lining of the nest. During the first 10 days, the rabbits have grown rapidly, but they cannot yet see or hear. At 12 days, they can use their eyes and ears, the coat is developing, and they move about in the nest. At two weeks old, they venture to the front door of their home. They're still growing very fast and are always on the lookout for food. All the little rabbits take milk from their mother's breast at the same time. At three weeks old, they go a little further afield and play in the sunshine. When they're a month old, they can find their own food and begin to fend for themselves. They have very big appetites and spoil the pastures where sheep should graze and do great damage to crops and gardens. The rabbit, after a meal, pays particular attention to his toilet and washes his face with his two front paws. They also love to bask in the sun. The rabbit's pelt is made up of a fine, close undercoat and coarser, longer hairs, which give the general brown effect and make it so hard to find. The muzzle is continually in movement and is very sensitive. The rabbit has a notch in the upper lip, wide nostrils and long whiskers. The large blood vessels in the outer ear help the animal to get cool, as there are few hairs there to hold the heat. It is also most useful for catching sound vibrations. The prominent eyes at the side of the head give a wide range of vision. The long whiskers are used to measure a gap through the reeds or dense vegetation. Rabbits enjoy sipping water, but they are not good swimmers. The rabbit leaves his tracks behind in the soft mud by the water's edge. When this is covered by a thin mantle of snow, the footprints show up clearly. In winter time, the rabbits live by eating tree bark for food. They throw out the toughest fibers from either side of the mouth. They can reach a height of over two feet, but cannot climb. In springtime, they do great damage to the young saplings, often eating the leading buds. In this diagram, the skull is shown. The chisel-shaped front teeth, called incisors, are used for gnawing. The nose bone is very prominent. The nerve to the eye is in the center of the large orbit, and the ear is at the back of the skull. The back teeth are ridged and used in grinding the food. The rabbit's jaws move sideways when it grinds its food, like this one enjoying a dandelion, and this one destroying a young plant. But their favorite food is grain, and great damage is done to grain fields, especially in the dry seasons, which favor the rearing of large families. During one season, from May to September, one doe mates with a buck called A early in the spring. Thirty days later, she has a litter of six young. The same doe may mate with a second buck, called B, and have another litter after 30 days. There may be a third mating with another buck called C, and a third litter is born. The same doe may mate a fourth time with D buck and have a fourth litter in the autumn. Thus, one mother may have four families in one year. To protect their crops and young trees, farmers and foresters fix wire netting above and below ground level. The rabbit has also natural enemies like the weasel, the fox, and owls, which help to control the numbers.
but they're gregarious animals and always on the lookout for danger. The young ones learn early to use their senses, and when danger threatens, they scuttle down to the security of their underground home. <laughs> 